David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to root your Sprint HTC Hero. So if you're not already there, head over to our site, TheUnlocker.com, spelled like that, and search for our How to Root Your Sprint HTC Hero video. Okay, once you've found the procedure, scroll down to the first uh, section called Before You Begin. Uh, and before you begin, you do need to have ADB set up and install the USB drivers for your Sprint Hero phone if you haven't already done so. So if you haven't done so, you can click on the link there uh, to take you to our instructional video on how to set that up. Once you finish that, you can come back to this procedure and we can go to the next step. Okay, we're gonna download uh, this file as root 2, so click on that. And you're gonna wanna save it somewhere on your computer where you remember where it was. Okay, once you've downloaded the, the zip folder, you're going to right click it and extract it to here and open it up and you should have the as root 2 file inside. Okay, once we have that file unzipped, we're going to go to our C drive and find our Android SDK folder. Uh, you should have this folder if you used our how to set up ADB uh, and install USB drivers. Uh, procedure. If not, then instead of this folder, it'll be whatever your Android SDK folder is if you've already set that up. So you're going to open that and then open Tools. And then we are going to move the Asroot 2 into our Tools folder. So it should show up inside here in Tools. Okay, after you've moved the file to the appropriate folder, you're going to plug in your Sprint Hero into the computer and make sure that uh, your computer can recognize it. And then we're going to open the command prompt. Okay, after you've opened the command prompt, you're going to type what's written in our procedure on our site, cd backslash, cd android sdk, tools. The android sdk part, if you didn't rename your sdk folder uh, like our procedure has you do to android sdk, it's going to be whatever your sdk folder is normally called. Uh, once you type in adb devices and you hit enter, uh, you should get a serial number. If you don't, then your USB drivers are not installed correctly. Go back to our uh, how to do that video and redo it. Uh, if you do get a serial number, then you're all set. You can move on to the next section, which is step five. You're gonna just type this information here, hitting enter at the end of each line as normal, and then that as well. Again, please go to our website for exactly what's written um, instead of trying to copy it from the video here. Once you're all done with that, you should have root access and be ready to go. Okay, after you finish that, you have root access and you can start using uh, root uh, required programs from the market. Um, but if you want to load a custom ROM, then you're probably going to want to flash a custom recovery image. So that's the last step down here. It's optional, but if you want to load a custom ROM again, you're going to have to do this. Um, so just click on the link there. It'll show you how to uh, flash a custom recovery image using our procedure. After that, you're all set. Let us know if you got any questions uh, or if it worked.